What is going on, Governor Shiskul here, and we are back for Crazy Insane Resource Gathering Part 3. In Part 1, we reviewed general tips for gathering crazy insane resources. Part 2, we talked all about gathering commanders. Now, we're going to be talking about production in the city, which is possibly one of the most crucial and underrated ways of getting resources. Part 4 is going to release next week in conjunction with patch 1.0.11, and it's going to take a look at the new gathering talents. So please do subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you want to get notified about when that video goes live. So with all that said, let's get into it, and let's talk about why I think production in the town is one of the most crucial and underrated ways of getting resources. Now, with the production buildings leveled as much as I currently do, I am getting almost two and a half million resources a day for doing almost nothing. I open up my game and I tap the spots and I get the resources. There is um, a ceiling, however, on how much you can store in each of your resource buildings and that's based on the level. Um, typically those will fill after 10 hours, but your production boosts make that happen a lot sooner. So you'll want to check in probably every six hours or so to make sure you're not missing out on those crucial resources. Now, at the moment, we happen to have a resource-related event going on, and one of the parts of that event is gathering resources in the town. So if you want to win this style of event, you need to be leveling up these buildings anyways. So gathering resources in the town is super, super crucial. And by the way, I just want to show you what one of those events might look like. This event here is Strategic Reserve, and it rewards Cleopatra statues. And I don't know about you, but I, I'm not getting a ton of Cleopatra statues. Cleopatra statues, tongue twister there, from Gold Keys. I get most of mine from this event. So production in the town is really, really, really important. But the big question is, how do you squeeze more production out of the buildings that you have? Now, I'm sure many of you noticed there is a production boost token, uh, one for each type of production building in your town, that is food, wood, stone, and gold, and they come in both 8-hour and 24-hour variants. Now, my recommendation if you are using this style of boost is that you can get the 8-hour variants for a 30% discount at the Mysterious Merchant for typically 35000 food or wood per boost. But the big question is, do I get more value from using these boosts than it costs me? In other words, am I getting back more than 35000 food or wood if I use a boost that costs that much? Now the good news, my friends, is that I made a very, very sophisticated calculator that will determine all of that for you. If you're interested in seeing that calculator, I put a link in the description. It's bit.ly slash rockprodcalc. That stands for Rise of Civilizations Production Calculator. But the link is bit.ly slash R-O-C-P-R-O-D-C-A-L-C. Now, for those of you who just want the answer um, and you don't want to actually plug in what your boost values are and what your production uh, building levels are, you, you can probably assume that if your buildings are all above level 15 or 16, that using a production boost will give you more value than it costs. So I've really hyped up these production buildings, and they are pretty darn significant. Um, but the question becomes, when should you be building these things? I mean, aren't all your other buildings more important? And the answer is typically yes. However, after I hit City Hall level 21, um, the critical factor for me was no longer speed ups. It wasn't the time I, I had that I could accelerate. It was actually the amount of resources I had. And you can see here that getting the city hall to the next level for me costs 24 million food and 24 million wood and 10 million stone. I don't have the resources to do that. At least I didn't before. I actually do, but that's a separate story. Anyways, when I crossed over that critical threshold, where I had more speed-ups than I had resources to really take advantage of them. That is the time when it made sense to start investing in these production buildings because I certainly wanted to have two buildings going at all times, and all the other buildings in my town were really expensive, but the farm and the lumber mill are very, very cheap 
resource-wise to upgrade. You can see here I can take this farm from level 17 to 18 for 275,000 wood and 200,000 stone. That is nothing compared to the, the resource costs for upgrading other buildings at the higher levels. Now the quarry is still a value upgrade. Um, you can see I can take a quarry from 16 to 17 for 335,000 food and 335,000 wood. But once you get to the gold mine, this building is actually just expensive all the way around. Um, it is very, very expensive and I will be focusing on food and wood before I start leveling up my gold mine. Now there's one other thing that you can be doing to really kind of power up the production within the city, and that is your economic technology. And my friends, I am a huge proponent of economic technology. I'll be honest, I don't battle other players frequently, so the military tech doesn't really give me a ton of value. I mean, I guess for barbarians and barbarian huts, it's good. Um, but the way that I think I'm going to get ahead of other players is by outproducing resources and outgathering them in the field. And so the economic tech helps a ton with that. And if you are using your speed ups on technology, um, this is true of all technology, uh, both economic and military, but generally you get really good bang for your buck in terms of the amount of speed ups you have to use to gain lots and lots of power. So if you are thinking about investing in this game in the long haul, I would highly recommend you think about upgrading that economic tech related to production of resources within the town. And I highly recommend that you upgrade those production buildings in your town when you are low on resources and starting to accumulate a lot of speed ups. My friends, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please do uh, like, share, and subscribe. As a new content creator, it means a whole heck of a lot to me. Is there anything else that I missed regarding producing like a crazy, insane resource gathering machine within your town? If so, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, my friends, I will see you next time, and you have fun smashing the kingdom.